Alright, what's bad one? Hazard Finder here, and today we're going to be playing some more uh, Killing uh, Floor 2. But yeah, man, we're actually going to be playing another Killing Floor 1 map called Biohazard. But yeah, since we've done offices previously, it's only fair that if we do a little bit more Killing Floor 1 maps, right? And apparently we're all freaking Strasser. Oh my god. The Strasser apocalypse. But yeah, literally everyone playing right now is a Strasser. And this guy has a paper bag, nice. But yeah, man, this map, it was kind of like one of my favorites in Killing Floor 1. Just because it was just so... So campy, if that makes any sense. But yeah, the camping spot in Killing Floor 1 was actually on the second floor. Okay, where the hell is he going? Bro, just glitching in some pipes, nice. But yeah, the camping spot was actually up here. But should we actually go there? I don't know, because in Killing Floor 2, things are a little bit different. I mean, mostly the same, but a little bit different, not gonna lie. Oh, and here we have some elves, but he did. Oh, there's more of them. Time for some balloons. Oh, and that's more of them, yes. But yeah, this was the area that was, you know, a little bit campy in Killing Floor 1, but... I mean, you could still die if you didn't, you know, hold it. That well. Okay, I don't actually know how for how long this, you know, winter update is going to, you know, still be here for Killing Floor 2. I mean, some people actually said the 26th. Not sure if that's correct, but, I mean, I guess we'll see. Okay, I just don't even know where the hell to go at this point, so I'm just gonna... Uh, I don't know, camp it out in here, maybe? But yeah, I'm just gonna be playing my support for today, and my god, is the support in this game actually good. But yeah, a lot of people don't like playing the support for some reason, but for me personally, yeah, this thing... It's just so freaking cool. I mean, just look at the freaking elves, just absolutely annihilated. But yeah, the support, it's good for the team because, you know, it has like that ammo resupply thing and... Shotguns, generally pretty freaking good. Especially, you know, the doomstick and the boomstick. I mean, hopefully I'm going to like show you what the doomstick can actually do in this game because... Yeah, it actually stumbles raged flashbones. Okay, I don't know what the hell this guy's doing, but... Don't worry, man, get freaking chopped. Didn't get chopped. There we go. Wait, where's the balloon? Oh, balloon. Oh, and here we have our friendly neighborhood, Strasser. And that, that's another one. Jesus Christ. But yeah, we're actually playing with only five players now because... Yeah, people just don't want to join. So rest in pieces. But yeah, if you guys want to come and join for some games from time to time, then be sure to hop on over to the Discord. Oh, and he just blew up. Nice. Well then, I don't even know what the hell to buy, so I'm just gonna go for a double barrel boomstick. Because this thing is actually quite nice. Oh, and by the way, I do have a deluxe emote. And all things goes to Infernal for actually, you know, providing the tank. So, Infernal, thank you very much. But yeah, I do believe it's called the Lion Uppercut. Right? Probably. Well then, back up to the spot we go, because we literally have nothing else to do at this point. Oh, I'm freaking Sanic. Just look at the speed. Oh, and the cookie just fell down, that was not good. Okay, I don't know exactly where the hell to hold, so I'm just gonna, uh, I don't know, weld this, maybe, possibly. Okay, the door's welded, and the elves are just standing there, which is always nice. Okay, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, you get ballooned. Oh, and here we have a spoiler, but he did. But yeah, man, I do kind of wish Tripar would actually, you know, port some maps from Killing Floor 1 into Killing Floor 2. I mean, fair enough in, you know, porting the maps, it would kind of, like, break the lore a little bit of the game. But, I mean, currently, Killing Floor doesn't have, like, that much lore, so... Okay, door, are you gonna get, like, broken down? Oh, there we go. Nice. And that's a husk. But he did. But yeah, like I said, support... I mean, you can't really go wrong with this perk, like, at all, because with the shotguns... You don't really have to have the best aim in the game to, you know, master this thing because the bullet spread is just... It's there. Unlike something like a gunslinger or a sharpshooter. But yeah, the support, its main purpose is to just, you know, help out the team and just, you know, kill some trash, pretty much. And if things get out of hand, yeah, the doomstick or, you know, the AA-12 can easily kill some big dudes because it has the damage. Oh, and what do we have here? We have a fidget spinner. But he got ballooned. Okay, what the hell's shooting me now? Stupid ass Edar. Okay, Edar, can he just get destroyed? No, he's still very much alive. But he did. Okay, I do believe there's like a Skrake somewhere, if I'm not like completely mistaken. Maybe they already killed him, but... Maybe not. I mean, I don't even know where the hell I want to be at this point. Oh, balloons. He's just like smiling. Oh, and here we have some cookie dudes, but they're probably gonna die. Okay, Edar, I'm just gonna like shoot you with my freaking 9mm because I can't even be asked. There you go. Rest in pieces. And this guy... Go away. Okay, I just can't even see the head. Just actually invisible. Okay, there we go. 
finally. I mean, there's only like 26 dudes left. I mean, this is just like piss easy. I mean, fair enough, we're like only five players, but but still. Okay, you know what? It's time for the support to repair the door because that's actually something that the support can do. Oh, that's a spider. And he didn't get one shot for some reason. Rest in pieces. Okay, door fixing. Please just fuck off. There we go. Hey, got him. Well then, to the trader we go. And I do believe I'm just gonna like whack myself a doomstick. Because that thing is pretty freaking good. And since people are just like giving me money, this is going to be even more interesting. A Dankeschön. Well then, back down to the position we go. And this map is like semi big. It's not like the hugest map in the game, but... I mean, still pretty freaking huge. I mean, compared to what Shripwar are putting, like, map-wise in Killing Floor 2, yeah, Killing Floor 1 maps were just... Mm, perfection. Oh, and the first dude on the list is going to be a cookie, but he got taken away from me. That was sad. But at least I have more of them. Got him. Okay, can I actually just, like, you know, weld the door? Or is that not a door I can weld? Oh, it is. But there's like some dudes behind it, so rest in pieces for that. Oh, and somehow I'm second on kills and I'm just like barely even shooting anything. Nice. Okay, I should probably just like stay here. Maybe possibly. Because I mean the dudes are just like spawning from this little area. Okay, the door on the other side is... Oh, it's still fixed. Okay, they're just not even spawning like at all. So I'm just gonna go and help the berserker out a little bit, maybe. Because I'm getting like no action pretty much. Oh, spider. How's it hanging? We can't weld this. Oh, I can. I mean, maybe that's going to, like, screw up someone if he wants to, like, run away, but... I mean, rest in pieces. Okay, can I please get some Zeds? I mean, I got, like, one freaking fidget spinner. That was pretty much it. Okay, should I just, like, stand here, then come back? Because I do believe that, like, triggers the spawn point. Oh, that actually does trigger the freaking spawn point. Nice. Got him. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. We saw Scrake. Okay, that was a waste, but I did steal the kill though. Oh, and here we have our friendly neighborhood spawner. Okay, this map is just like freaking piss easy. Okay, I'm just gonna like help this guy out, because why not? Oh, he's got the paper bag. Legend. I mean, it would be cool if Tripwar added, you know, a paper bag with like sunglasses on him. So yeah, Tripwar, if you're listening, then be sure to get me some paper bags with some sunglasses. Okay, I completely whiffed him. Nice, that was good. <laughs> But I got him in the end though. Well then, 36 dudes left, and I can't see jack shit. Oh, and here I have a little elf. But he told. Oh, there we have a friendly neighborhood Skrook. And I need to reload. Nah, that was good. Okay, let me just go and clear the trash. And just like that, go away from the Scrake and headshot. And that's why the Doomstick is one of the best shotguns the support has. Because it deals with big things like no other. Oh, and here we have a uh, right here. Not anymore, we don't. Well then, one dude left, and he is a Krampus. Yeah, I'm just gonna teabag him, maybe like emote him. Because why not? Well then, wave 3, piss easy, and I didn't even burn through my ammunition, because this map is... Quite chill. Well then, just upgraded the boomstick, and yeah, we should be theoretically good to go. I mean, I should probably just like go and fix the door. Because obvious reasons. So let's go and do that really quick. Oh, it's actually fixed. Oh, and now we're getting some actual flash bones. But yeah, man, a lot of people say, uh, Pet Finder, do more multiplayer, it is hard. I mean, how the hell is this hard? I'm literally just even more chilled than solo. Oh, and here we have an elf, but he did. Okay, not entirely sure where the hell. Oh, that's a flash bound. And I didn't even stumble him because of reasons, but he did. Because that's what you do to, you know, flesh bones when you have the doomstick, you just shoot them and that's it. They be taught. Okay, any more flesh bones? Nope, we get a stalker. I mean, I wouldn't like mind more flesh bones right now because this thing is just a little bit too chill. Okay, hopefully other guys have everything under control. Maybe not. I mean, at least I contributed, right? Okay, maybe I'm just gonna like assist the berserker a little bit. Probably. I mean, if I get, like, a Scrake over here, I can just, like, easily kill him because I got this bad boy, the freaking Doomstick. But yeah, Killing Floor 2, pretty freaking chill. And people who take this game seriously, yeah, I just don't even know, man. Oh, I do believe I just hear a Scrake somewhere. Maybe. Oh, there he is. A freaking Scrook. Oh, and that's an actual Flash Bone. Oh, Jesus Christ, man, not like this. Flash Bone, nay. Bruff. Oh, he's Rage. Why you Raged? But you're dead, though. No, oh, that's one of them. That's not good. Okay, here we have a big one. Let's just go and quickly contribute some bullets. Just like that. I don't even know where the hell I'm shooting at. And that's a husk. But he blew up. Okay, that's another one. Okay, there's like some shit behind. And I'm slowly but surely running out of ammunition. Should I care? 
Ah, uh, probably not. There's only like five left. Oh, and speaking of five left, that's a Scrake, and I can't do jack shit to him. Well, that's sad. Just a little bit. Not like that much though. Well then, time to go and knife this crook. And he just exploded. Okay, for the boss, I don't usually recommend doing the support because it doesn't do like that much damage, but... Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna go with the survivalist because I do need to like level up this shit and I'm gonna go with the RPG and upgrade that thing and also with the Oysterator because this combination is quite strong. I mean, fair enough, you can't like heal if you just like upgrade both of them, but you do have two powerful freaking weapons. Well then, who's gonna be the boss? It's going to be the king, a flesh pound. Easy freaking peasy. Okay, I don't know where the hell this spawn point is, but it is somewhere. And I do believe he's just... Oh, he's raged. Okay, that went just directly through him. No, and here we have our friendly neighborhood, a quarter pound. Okay, where is he going? No, oh, and the boss is right behind. I think. Ow. Just, just shoot him. That's it. King Fleshbound, what you doing? Okay, can you just let reload faster? Thank you. But yeah, and King Fleshbound, it's not like a hard boss. It's just... A flesh bone, that's it, with like a lot of quarter pound companions. And if anyone is having like trouble with this guy, just don't focus the boss when you know quarter pounds are spawning. J just focus on the quarter pounds first. Oh, and the dude is pretty much on his shield. Oh, and that's a quarter pound. Oh, and let's just go and parry. Okay, I'm just gonna parry a corpse. Nice, that doesn't work. Okay, it would be cool if I had like some ammunition for my RPG, but that is the survivalist life. You just like run out of ammo regardless. Okay, dude, your shield is going down very freaking slowly. I mean, if I was like the berserker, he probably would have been dead. But nope, I just have to level up my survivalist because I'm an idiot. But yeah, man, hopefully the reworks the trip are, are actually planning for this guy are gonna go like through. Because yeah, right now... Yeah, the survivalist is pretty freaking trash. Oh, he just like freaking went. Oh, ammunition. Time for some RPG. Okay, can I just get like the last kill with the rocket? I mean, I don't know how much damage this thing actually does, but... I mean, I failed to get the kill, but I did blow him up. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.